Yo, yo, yo. What's up, y'all? Real quick, man. Let's, let's let's switch topics every now and then, man. I like to switch things up a little bit, keep keep things fresh, man, and uh, mix it up a little bit for y'all, man. I, I was sitting there thinking about hip hop and the history of hip hop, and uh, I was thinking about what's the greatest hip hop album of all time. Brain damn near exploded. Can't do that. Uh, so I would start thinking, what was the greatest hip hop album of that year? So I just got got me to thinking about uh, hip hop for me. And uh, when did hip hop start for me? Uh, so I'm not an East Coast head. I'm not an East Coast guy. Uh, hip hop for me started with Dr. Dre. So uh, the Chronic, uh, and, you know, the Snoop Dogg era. That's when I really got into hip hop. That's when hip hop reached me. Uh, all of that uh, boom bappity stuff uh, from the East Coast with the horns and stuff like that, and the pianos and all that uh, sampling and stuff like that. Um, it, it was. It, it didn't really reach me like that until Dr. Dre came along with the G-Funk era. And that's when I really jumped into hip-hop. When I first heard Snoop Dogg and I heard that... I was like, Ew, what is that? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, man, that groove right there got me into hip-hop. So that's where hip-hop started with me, man. So that's where we going to start. Uh, because I'm not an East Coast head. I'm a Southern guy. So uh, this is coming... From from a southern uh, southern guy's point of view, man, of the greatest hip hop albums uh, since really uh, the Chronic. So, starting things off, uh, the best album of that year was the Chronic, of course, which is 1991, 92, something like that. But really, when I heard Snoop Dogg, uh, 1993, that was easily the best album of that year for me. So, 1993, Snoop Dogg. So let's just go on down the list, man, of the best album that came out that year. 1993, Snoop Dogg. Uh, 1994, that was a tough year, actually, because Illmatic came out that year. Uh, Biggie Smalls and Scarface all came out with an album that year. So Nas, Big, and Scarface came out with their best album in 1994. And I went with, uh, with uh, Biggie Smalls for that year because uh, when there's a tiebreaker like that, you got to go with the hits. And Biggie had the biggest radio hits of that year. You can call him a baby, baby. You know, and uh, it was all a dream. We used to read right up magazines. Uh, those was huge hits. And uh, Nas and um, Scarface just didn't have hits like that on those albums. So I had to give it to uh, Biggie Smalls for 1994. Let's keep it going. All right, so uh, 95, 96, I gave the Tupac. He took over those two years. 97, Big and Smalls. So, 93, Snoop. 94, Big. 95, Pac. 96, Pac. 97, Big. Then here comes 98 with Lauren Hill hitting the scene. That didn't last long because here come 99, 2000 with Eminem. The Eminem takeover. 99 and 2000. 2001... Uh, Jay-Z was on the scene, but like I said, I'm, I'm not a East Coast guy, so I leaned more towards Ludacris. I was really into the Big Tig in the Basement freestyle era, the punchlines, and all of those, you know, freestyles in the in the basement, the 106 in Park. Ludacris was the dude in that era, man. So 2001, was I, I had to give it to Luda. 2002, Scarface. It was kind of a quiet year. Nobody really put out nothing in 2002. So uh, Scarface with The Fix was a great uh, album for that year. Then here comes 2003 with the 50 Cent Takeover and the G-Unit Takeover. So 2003 was a fantastic year for mixtapes for, for the G-Unit and 50 Cent. So 50 Cent and the G-Unit click took over 2003 that year. 2004, here comes Kanye West, messing up everything, man. So uh, I had to give it to Kanye West for 2004 and 2005 because of the college dropout and late registration takeover was in those two years. Then uh, there was a quiet moment in 2006, and The Game, to me, had the best album that year with uh, Doctor's Advocate, I believe. 2007, Kanye made a comeback with The Graduation. 2008, Lil Wayne came out with the Carter 3. Then here comes 2009, the introduction to Drake. So Drake came out in 2009, was so far gone. 2010, Kanye West puts out the best album 
yet to date with my beautiful dark twisted fantasy uh the most ambitious artsy farsi creative album of all hip-hop album of all time for me um that boy put out a movie video and it was just great that was a great that was a great year but anyway man 2011 drake comes back with take care and just like whoa that boy serious that boy serious 2011 then here comes kendrick lamar uh, in 2012 with a uh, good kid mad sit and you like whoa wait J drake got some competition out here now and then 13 drake comes back when nothing was the same 2014 was a quiet year for Drake and Kendrick and J. Cole hit the scene with uh, Forest Hill in 2014. 2015, here comes Kendrick Lamar with To Pimp a Butterfly, one of his greatest masterpieces of all time. That was a quiet year in 2016, so I gave it to Chance the Rapper. That was a great ambitious album also. 2017, Kendrick Lamar comes back with Damn. And then 2018, we got Drake and uh, Cardi B. You know, the year has the, has the past and sit with you and you have to be looking back at it. So we're still, you know, 2018 is still fresh on me. And uh, the best album of 2018, uh, when you look back at it, it you're going you're gonna to be talking about Cardi B. She won the Grammy and uh, she made a big name for herself. Uh, and I, I still have my personal favorites like the Logic album and stuff like that. But when it's all said and done, five years from now, you're looking back at 2018, you're going to be saying Cardi B won the Grammy. So we're going to give it to Cardi B for 2018, guys. So yeah, man, that was my list right there. So uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Let's let's round let's 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 tally things up, man, and count who's the best hip hop artist uh, in, of all times in my book, based on how many times I say an artist's name. All right, so I'm just gonna rat, uh, go down the list in each year and, and say their name. So '93, Snoop, Big, Pac, Pac, Big, Lauren Hill, Eminem, Eminem, Luda, Scarface. 50 Cent, Kanye, Kanye, The Game, Kanye, Lil Wayne, Drake, Kanye, Drake, Kendrick, Drake, J. Cole, Kendrick, Chance the Rapper, Kendrick, and Drake slash Cardi B. So uh, yeah, man, it looks like I said the name Kanye a lot. I said Drake a lot. I said Kendrick a lot. And um, those are the top three uh, hip hop artists that's, that, sh that popped up on this list the most, man. So for me, my top three hip hop artists of all time will be Kanye, Drake, and Kendrick. All right, y'all, out. So, so yeah, man, with all that said, uh, I'm glad we had this quick little side conversations, mix things up a little bit for your boy and talk about, you know, things I'm interested in talking about for a change every now and then. Let me give me give me a give me a moment to talk about some stuff every now and then, guys. And uh, you guys just entertain me, man. Just how you got, just entertain me a little bit. And uh, I put together the playlist uh, on Spotify and I'm gonna put it down in the comments and you guys can go click on that and uh check out your boy's number one hip-hop album that came out that year and pluck out your favorite songs and create your own playlist from it also you can go back and visit uh each year for you and put together a playlist of your favorite hip-hop album that came out that year and send it back to me man and i'll check it out and this should be fun man all right guys till next time ow